Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up your PlayStation Classic controller to your window machine so you can use it on your RPCS3 emulator. Let me show you the controller. You should be seeing this controller right now, it's the one that comes with the PlayStation Classic controller, I mean the console. And what you want to do is plug this in. So I'm just going to open up the game controller section. So if I plug this in I've got a USB port just over here. Go. that's all plugged in now and it's popped up as a controller so there we go it picks up all of the buttons fantastic so just you know just a couple of little caveats doesn't have analog sticks because the original playstation controller did not so if your game requires analog sticks you're sort of out of luck and now you just need to set it up in rpcs3 so launch that up Go to all of data afterwards, go to pads. And then from here, what you want to do is select MM joystick. And now you can just start mapping everything. So let's do triangle, square, circle, and X. And we don't have a right hand log stick, remember. So we got R1, R2, we have start, we have select, we have L one l2 up down left and right so up uh, down left and right and uh, that is it so this is just the vibration which does not work with the playstation classic controller because it really never had it it was the dualshock controller that eventually had it which had analog sticks as well so that's it that's all done you're ready to go so you could potentially map the analog sticks with something else possibly you know maybe you want to map it with this maybe that's how you want to map it so uh, you can map it like that for example but that is totally up to you map it however you want but like i said you are somewhat restricted depending on the game you're playing if you're playing tekken you know all you need is these and really these and these and you're all good to go but again it depends on the game so that's it and you know just make sure you click save when you do it you can add a profile adding a profile allows you to create you know different configuration maybe depending on you might have a configuration for a Tekken game you might have which is the normal configuration you might have a configuration for a different game where you're mapping the analog sticks onto these potentially you know you never know so just make sure you click save and then you can launch a game up. I'm not going to launch a game up because this is very, very simple. But you can just launch a game up and start playing it. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.